Now I'm going to work on making the text uh, align nicely. I'm going to highlight this text here for company figures. I'm going to center that. So you've got, you've got text alignment tools here. So you can center it vertically and horizontally. So this is centered and uh, top aligned. So this is center aligned on vertical and horizontal alignment. So I'll go for that. Um, Going to leave this column here left aligned. I think a center alignment for this particular column might look best. So center top. Now the budget uh, column here. I'm going to give that a right alignment because these figures aligning up in the right will look a lot better when we want to compare them. So we'll go with that. Top right. Um, and you'll notice when I do right align that this right indent button is available here. And it may look better if the right uh, it's right aligned but uh, indented to the right a bit further over the cell. So I can just click and grab that indent marker and drop it there. And that looks a lot better. Right aligned with the, a right indent in this area here of the column. The final, um, the final uh, figures column here, if we try to right align it, um, we come up with an issue because the decimal points still don't align up properly. So I'm just going to leave that left align again and uh, for this particular column that I've selected here I'm going to use a decimal alignment tab. So I'm just going to choose one of my tabs, decimal alignment tab here as we can see and pop over to my column here. Note again I have to highlight all the items of the column otherwise the if we were just in this particular top cell here, the decimal tab would only apply to that top cell. So highlight all of the, the column before applying your tab. Pop in our tab there around 11 and a half mark. There we go. All our decimal points are lined up nice and neatly. And it's easier to compare these figures in that um, particular column. So just to recap on the, the various alignments, left alignment, center alignment in this column, right alignment with a right indent in this column, and decimal alignment for easier comparison of decimal based figures in the final column. I'm going to look at some font so and shading. So for the top two rows here I'm going to use a, a bold font and in this very top row I'm going to grow the text here to be size 14, 16, I think size 16 looks better yeah I'll go for that and I'm going to apply some shading as well on this top cell here in the top row and you can see again when we click back into the, lay, uh, the design area this time we can go for some shading and I will just drop down my shading bucket here I think a nice pastel shade there the blue lighter 60% applied to the top and that gives us a nice look and feel okay after the shading I'm going to set uh, the width of the, the rows and columns. So back to the layout tab, I'm going to set a height and a width. This top uh, column here, I'm going to change the height to maybe 1.2 centimeters, which looks very well. And this is where the, the alignment uh, really comes into its own, the center alignment on the vertical, as well as horizontal, really comes into its own here. And for the rest of the cells of my table, I'm going to apply bigger height. I'm going to put it to about 0.6 of a centimeter. Volume width I'm going to put in at 3 centimeters. So I'll just type that in. Okay that's knocked out things in my top row here. So I'm just going to click and drag this over. So again just to recap my top row has a height of 1.2. The remaining rows have height of 0.6 with a width, a column width for all the remainder of the table of three centimeters. And that's the way I've set things there for row, uh, for cell size. Now I'm gonna take a zoom out here to finish off my table and have a look and see how it looks on the page. So you can see uh, it may look better for the layout of the entire page if that table is moved across centered vertically and horizontally as a table. So if I click on the crosshairs here to select the entire table, I'm not selecting um, alignment for elements within the table, I'm selecting alignment for the entire table. 
So to do that, I'm going to return to the Home tab and click on Horizontal Align with Buttons. So th this will actually uh, center with respect to the page. There we go. The entire table, as you can see, was shifted right across there. Now we want to center vertically on the page. So it should move down to around this area of the page when we do that. So again, uh, just highlight the entire table. I'll go to our Page Layout feature here and drop the Margins button right down there, the drop-down menu. Go to Custom Margins and select my Layout tab. And finally, for the vertical alignment on the page, just choose Center. And you should see your table is now nicely and neatly laid out on the page so that it's centered both vertically and horizontally.